classroom. So I do not have a filmer with me today. I'm sorry about that. I did just want to make a quick intro um, that this is a day late. I completely understand. But if you were snowed in at your house, I think yours would be a day late also. Um, I was at my grandma's for almost 12 hours yesterday. I didn't, all I had was my phone and you know, I have internet access on my phone. So I made a really quick video for Vlogmas Day 14 just showing you guys so this is going to be my baking series but you guys are seeing this on Sunday and I did I didn't really explain but I was wanting to upload them every Saturday but you know when you get you know seven to ten inches of snow too you realize that you can't do everything <laughs> and you realize what is necessary and what is not so important at the moment so I had to pick shoveling snow and staying home with my family and spending time with my family um, and going to my grandma's so that my parents could go to work. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it too much just because this is a baking series, not an explanation video. But today I'm going to be making quick cookies. And these are an amazing, delicious treat for the holidays. So this is great for holiday parties during Christmas after, you know, you after you know you come home from Christmas and you just start spending some family time about to go to bed or even for Santa so let's jump right in so this is what you're going to need you're going to need one cup of flour one fourth a margin or butter you want this soft and this is necessarily soft but we're going to heat it up you're going to need one egg you're going to need a half a cup of Nestle quick this is bunny and um, this is just the little bunny, little guy. We get huge things of it, but it just looks like this. It's from Nestle. And you are also going to need a hot pad. I'm just using a Christmassy one for your oven. You're also going to need an oven that reaches up to 350 degrees and a baking sheet lined with foil and grease and also a serving tray for that certain Santa or for your family time or that party so i just have a spode baking tray right here so let's go ahead and get started also i have a KitchenAid. i wanted to say today i'm going to be using it so if you have one of those it's great for this recipe if you don't whisking with a hand works perfectly fine also so let's jump in all right so i'm going to start by taking a bowl and unwrapping my certain amount that i need and you need one fourth of a cup and one fourth of a cup is equivalent to four tablespoons. So you can see your little tablespoon line. You need to go to four cups or four teaspoons. So I'm just going to go and one. I'm sorry. Am I saying teaspoons? I meant tablespoons. <laughs> four. All right. Go and cut down the middle. And I'm going to unwrap the half that I cut. And each tablespoon has, um, or each roll has eight, so just cutting it down the middle. All right, discard the rest in your fridge or put it in the fridge. Now I'm going to set this in the microwave for about 20 seconds. I don't want it melted, but I just want it lightly softened. Perfecto. All right, so now I'm going to pop that in my bowl for my KitchenAid. I just put my butter in there. Now I'm taking my half cup of sugar and placing it in there as well cup of Nestle and my beautiful egg. Everything's in. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my KitchenAid down and we're going to stir that up. It's going to look pretty doughy, like a doughy batter. You're going to want that. That's doing that. We're going to slowly put in our one cup of flour half at a time. So you're going to do this twice in your sugar there or your flour there you don't want it to get thick too quick but you don't want it to get over battery enough I'm doing a video the rest goes in all right so while that's stirring I'm gonna go ahead and start the oven at 350 degrees Right, beautiful and that's what you want to see it sticking to the top of this you just want it very very thick that's what you want especially with cookies at least with these type so now I'm gonna go ahead and grease my baking pan here all right we're all greased up all right and now we're going to take our fingers you're not going to do this with an ice cream scooper 
you're not going to do this with a tablespoon you just have to look and you want it to where it's just a very small ball almost size of a little bouncy ball the thing is is if you make these way too big they will turn out extremely gooey and just not done and if you make them too small they'll turn out horribly burnt so that's the perfect ball size you're going to roll up on roll them up the ball pop them on the baking sheet you're going to continue doing that until your batter is gone or until you run out of room on your baking sheet all right so i fit as many as i could on the baking sheet so i'm going to throw them in a 350 degree oven for eight to ten minutes Oh yeah, tell me those don't look amazing. They look amaze balls if you ask me. I did one so you can see. Hold on. So you can see the bottom is golden and the top is cute. So it almost looks like a brownie cookie, but it's not made with brownies at all. Make sure you give them a little bit of time to get off of this baking rack. Um, these are pretty stable cookies meaning they pull together extremely well which is wonderful so they usually are okay so, just a little fyi they're coming off wonderfully beautifully and yeah thrown in the next bag hey guys so they're all finished i'll show you what they look like they're really pretty all right so i'm gonna go ahead and try one so you guys can See my reaction. <clears throat> Try a warm one. <laughs> Very delicious. Really, really good. If you like chocolate, you will love this. Wonderful. Really good. A great holiday treat. And <clears throat> if you've even wanted to put a few sprinkles on top, you could totally do that while they're warm. I personally, I like sprinkles and like to decorate them with it, but I don't like the crunch of the sprinkles when I eat things. I like them to just be how they are. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and share these with your friends and family. And at least if you don't do that, make them for yourselves because you all deserve it for this holiday season. Bye, guys.